Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. I think I've built a very strong team, boy oh boy. I could definitely see that uh, the extra turns from the officer as well as the buffs from the grand strategists are just too much for the enemies uh, to uh, to uh, fight against. We're going to test the second team because I want to uh, play test a few say more niche builds. Anyways, let's start with giving Argenta a couple of buffs and then good old Heinrich uh, gets his fair share of buffs. Lord Captain. I won't object to it. Cool. We need to deal with these guys. But look, before anyone does anything anywhere, let's just get these guys together. I am a navigator, not a servitor. You know what? Uh, we're doing that, and hmm, we could reduce the hit points. Is that worth it? Potentially. The other option is a massive willpower and toughness bonus, which for someone like Saiken could go a long uh, way, and for her as well. So I'm just using that for now. Uh, the backline, I think we're just going to over uh, do that. My vow is to serve. There you go. Gets rid of uh, the other. Uh, the other uh, zone, but it means that we have 23% uh, more damage with ranged attacks, so that in itself is worth something. Everybody gets uh, Machine Spirit Communion, and look at that. Wonderful crit. Fantastic. And this is a free stratagem, might as well use it. And whilst we're at it, uh, joint analysis. And that witch here needs to die. Very good. Well, let's see what else we can do. Being ordered around. All far. We're giving our. Uh, well, uh, mm -hmm. Let's not do that yet. All far. You, you need to take a turn captain. first. See how the I will oh, yeah, rules. baby. Wow, just look at that damage. And we got Finest Hour. Which, for free, we could use. Let's kill that witch. Let's force all of these guys together. And, uh, Ulfar, do your worst. Damage. None can do this better than a warrior of the All Father. So it shall be done in this He's just annihilating them. Oh my lord. See how the wolf succeeds. 200 points of damage per shot. We haven't even started, man. Both of their bosses are dead. And all four just continues. 
that big uh, Kronos engine. Um, yeah, let's just move over here. Do we have something that gives him even more actions? No, not yet. But boy, that was intense, man. Oh, there is one witch over here. Interesting. I will this Staying in this in combat area. Fury. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> there is the kill. Ooh, more kills over here to be had. Doubtest for this is why I was chosen. All right, Ulfar gets a buff. And another one buffing ourselves. And we're pretty much okay. Me, the fame hungry come. Good. Let's start with you guys over here. So it shall be. What was that, Ulfar? Our foes reek of cowardice. Let's try this again. I will cut roots out of your bones. See how the wolf succeeds. Well, in distress. All right, getting that extra uh, turn. Uh, that extra shot. I hunger for battle. So it shall be. <laughs> He just goes to town. Give this task to someone else. Okay, fantastic. Well, look. Argenta. Uh, this here will stress the veil, so we're using a non-veil stressing method. Closer. As the Emperor commands, I act. I won't let her Fantastic, almost ready. And we're using that, guidance. plus that's up to 600 points of damage. Psyken, behave, man. Nobody is. Your death is approaching. You are my artifice. You've unleashed my fury. Your suffering will sustain me. I'm a mentor. All right, moving to here. Advancing. 
that thing gets all of the bonuses. Pascal just casually eliminates both of these guys and, and we can't use that. Unfortunately, we cannot. Approved. I have read tomes of military tactics. That is foolishness. Super hit. We're just literally staring uh, them into the nothingness. Buff here. And do that. Argenta. Can't really move anywhere. That's un so unfortunate. Was hoping Faith we would get deeds is we would get some movement points, but we did not. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. We could s we could definitely kill these guys, but uh, they are so far away, unfortunately. Everyone, step aside. No, Good. You attack. Uh, uh, you attack me, please. And we're moving all the way to here. For the throne of glory. Heinrichs, my man, you're hitting four hundred ten. Tell me to refuse. So shall it be. See how the wolf succeeds. So shall it I will come to the people. Well, that was an easy kill. Wolves play. He hits for so much. Man. This cannot be legal. This is Rogue Trader's version of barely legal. Man. The Emperor protects Warrior for the All Father. You honorably dispatch the Emperor's enemies. But not devotion to the All Father that guided me. Okay. What kind of grief must it be to have nearly cost your own sanity? It is the breath of uh, frost that chills our bones. It is a lightless malice born out, dis out of despair. The curse that preys upon them who have seen too many things and hate with too much of their heart. Too long have I been here. Too long have I served as a tool of unrighteous wretches. When I saw that I have once become their plaything, yet another Xenos, I thought it would go on forever, and my mind could not accept that. Um. You have people to fight for, people who need you. A warrior, not a beast. The Allfather Ross, my brothers, I belong to them. I am their blade, and this blade will never break. I suggest we see a Nocturne of Oblivion. Yes. Let's uh, not mess up uh, Ulfar, because he's by far the best companion that we have so far. Um, 
A couple of uh, rhymes again. The Q's Jester back again. You're starting to uh, weaving your webs of rotten claptat again. I rip out your useless tongue. At the top of the spire, they're all here, says the Farsi. I help them, Arbrand, and help me take me away uh, when it's all over soon. Nocturne of Oblivion says, Disdain, you will I'm not um, with a refusal. Your soul will refrain, uh, will keep safe as well. But leave to me reality, Farseer, and dreams I'll give you. Uh, I'll give in to your worthy hands. My wizard here was part of the plan. You may applaud this disappearing act. The Reaper's fatal steps I conceal from eyes that dream of blood and wildly carved. From unbeknownst to them, death merely moved. The grand finale of this grotesque piece is where perfidy and cunning reign supreme. Shall now unfold on you, merchant vagabond. What do you want from me? Okay, I'm not going to read that. Uh, it doesn't make any sense anyways. Our lore test says uh, it is clear that Irmer has acted recklessly by taking such valuable prisoner uh, and she risks starting a war with a Xenos cousin. The cradle's fragments smolder dimly there where tide has drawn the tempest all together. Dare you plunge your hand into the flame and drag truth embers into the light. O oh, Aberdrent, may I ask you, I am too afraid to try to save a little that remains of my home. Even if the fire burns, uh, a fire of truth burns within me, I will follow this path to the end. Elatach, the Abenimians love jest, but this is not one. Please, before it is too late, we must save the Farseer. Allow me to go um, with you to the spire, to the nest of depravity, um, to the haven of pain, anger, uh, the betrayal of my ki uh, kin. Are these Alderi truly that important to you? Do you truly not understand Alatach? It pains me to recall now. Willing exchange of life for pathetic scraps of information. But the Farseer with those scraps, they have the ability to grow an entire forest of truth. If what a Harlequin says, we uh, will save whomever we can. I am grateful. All right, I find myself wondering if a single farseer gazing into the hazy visions of things yet to come, even glimpses of the future where the key of salvation stemmed from the duo of monkey and outcast. Come along, let us tear farseers' lives from the clutches of the cousins. Um... Thank you for helping me. It's time to come to an end with this performance. All right, what a battle it was. The world will. Be All right, so respect um, and equipped. Uh, let's give it a go. Uh, we are. We have looted all of this, or the majority thereof. Uh, the remaining loot, I think, will Let's be offered to us once we are going to the terrace. Uh, or not. Well, let's get down here. Lettix is fine. The Emperor favors me today. Take heed, rogue trader. Good. What uh, are we getting? Whenever the wearer is able to perform an attack of opportunity, they gain one stack of vengeance. Uh, the wearer's attacks of opportunity deal additional damage. There is definitely kind of a build idea of an opportunity attacker. Using a non-ability, non-attack ability grants plus five bonus to dodge and parry, uh, parry for each enemy adjacent to the wearer for one round. Hmm. It's a non-attack ability. I mean, that might be okay for for you, my good friend. But uh, whenever the warrior war successfully dodges, they gain momentum. is much much better. If 
Fabulous. So we're on our way out of here. The two pilots already disarmed and shackled. They gave you a haunted look as you approach them. But they do not dare to say anything. Uh, you glance at the Xenos boat. Sure, it's a design of a certain uh, parts appear to be bizarre, but you can still guess the purpose. You could probably steer it. I can steer it, uh, Gondola, Alatark. We do not need these pilots. Hmm. Uh, you will be granted the privilege of ferrying me. No. Leave while you can, Earlit. Take the helm. The pilots uh, catch Earlit's cold gaze, exchange glances, and then take off running without saying a word. That's what I was hoping would happen. And we are going to the Tempest Spire, which is where I think the grand finale will happen. Let's see how well this is going to play out. So far, by the way, our team, absolutely fantastic. Chef Kiss. I will build the second team very different. Uh, I do have an understanding now which classes and abilities are quote-unquote OP. And I still want to understand um, if the rest is just equally strong the and the game, uh, as long as it feet. goes on, just becomes easier. But so that is number one uh, that I'm doing. Number two. Uh, let's just double check something here on difficulty. So, unfair. Enemy dodge modifier. So that's their chance of not getting hit. Um... NPC characteristics. Okay, fair enough. Enemy wounds modifier. Let's give the enemies... I don't know, if I do it custom, will that rob me from achievements? Hmm. Ah... I'll leave it. I'll leave it as is, but the I could use a little bit. Uh, I could put it up into a little bit more of a challenge. You know what? On the other hand, I don't care about achievements. Uh, I care about a good, um, a good uh, knocking, and we're too strong. So enemy wounds, not plus eighty, but plus hundred percent. Very much apply. Uh, damage dealt to players after subtracting the modifiers gets a plus 20%. Are we specifically tanky? I think we can up that a little bit. How about we're upping the damage to plus 50%. It's not plus 100, but it is a substantial upgrade. Um, damage required for wounds, that's fine. Space combat difficulty hard, there isn't any harder version. I think space combat is not the biggest problem. Um, I think the biggest issue is enemies are just dying too fast. Uh, base characteristics of all non-player characters, excluding player companions. Uh, currently they get a plus 20. Let's ramp that up to a plus 50. That means they even get more stats, more hit points. Uh, okay, well, that is... Uh, if we need to make it more difficult, we're going to go with Dodge Modifier as the next one. Party Momentum already at minus 25%. Mm. I'll leave it there at the moment. I don't mind that too much, as long as the enemies Intriguing. don't just fall over immediately. Okay, let's see how those new values are playing out. This is effectively ultra unfair now the gargantian spire is too large to see its entirety its true proportions are shrouded in the shadows and you feel that those shadows try to envelop and swallow you i smell blood in the air blood is about to be split uh, spilled i hear an echo 
of clashing of swords and a terrifying scream of Xenos writhing under our heel. All Father, what a marvelous feast you have prepared for me. All right. The Spy of the Ravaging Tempest, the Seed of the Cabal. The heart of many spires contain a secret, an ancient webway gate that has the remains of a seal, uh, has the remains to be sealed for many, many aeons. Urem Riss kept the Vecnos uh, news happened too tight around uh, the Cabal's neck. No one safe for her can, um, and a certain other Cabalite know where exactly the real space of the gate leads, a perfect escape route, and I can open it for you. Let us get out of this hole. You cannot wait to leave the comrade, and I cannot wait to pay my sister a visit. Rest assured, she is somewhere nearby. All right, he's in. Whom are we going to take out instead? Argenta? Well, we got Ulfar, so I think that could be a fair trade. And we got Heinrichs as well. A desire before we leave to the spire. There's something I want to pick up, something memorable I left in the cabal about. Um, I do not want it to fall in the hands of the carrion eaters and looters. Fine. Just point where the property of yours is. Elatach, fury and fear are devouring me from the inside. I do not know what frightens me more, the grim answer that hides behind the spire's wall or the scars that my heart will bear once I discover them. Yet I must le learn the truth about my world. Perhaps this is the day the outcast finds her path again. Come along. We will have all of the answers. You speak the truth, Elanach. Let us be on the way. We will tear uh, their lives uh, from the clutches. Okay, well, now we get two of you. Um, and... Uh, no, Cassia cannot uh, be not with us. Uh, I think this is a fine group. As for the webway gate uh, that the Arab Manian mentioned, uh, for it to open before you um, and let you enter the webway, you will require help from uh, our kind. I could try to open the gate, but to do that, I would need a certain construct, a resonance device. The masters of this place must keep it close at hand. Earlier, what's the plan to find your kind? Farseer are not easy captives to keep. Whatever the Dark Ones are using them to repress the kin's powers, those tools will be noted, noticeable. I'll find a way uh, to them. All right. And we got... Yet another level up. Interesting. Well, let me do that real quick. Okay, level up done. Let's go, boys. Powers unseen. Uncover my path. Thank Ross for my sharp senses. Okay, I think that is what Marasad wanted to use or get. Marasai lightly leaps from edge uh, to the edge of the platform into the radar and begins inspecting it from the inside. You hear clicking and hissing as the Guru Drukari open closes uh, variant hidden cages, uh, caches in the Skycraft Hall, accompanied by muttered Xenos cursing. Come here, Sai, and take a look at this view. The chasm yawns endlessly, Cyp uh, cyclopean spires of the Comoras piercing uh, upward out of the gloom. The details of this vast structure are hidden by the, gl uh, by the hazy gloaming. The towering height takes your breath away and you almost spoon. And then a gentle uh, mm, shove at your back makes you lose uh, your balance. The moments stretch into eternity. Your firm footing is swept out under, uh, mm, under you. Your heart stops beating entirely. The chasm below seems to rush towards you, ready to swallow you whole. And then clawed fingers close around your wrist, halting your fall, uh, fall but holding you suspended over your, the abyss. 
Razai's laughter rings uh, with a dark uh, delight when he finally tucks your back into the raider. Terror. Unbridled, exquisite terror. Far um, more bite uh, to it than the stale, predictable pain of torture victims. Can you feel the blood roaring in your veins? Life becomes more vivid when death can come at any moment. I will continue to remind you of that. The Tempest... The Kabbalatis have already picked the, the raider clean. That means that what I seek must be hidden somewhere in the spire. I think I think it's in the torture chamber. All right. Off we go into the spire, my friends. Off we go. I tread a path. Unexplored. Too hard for a simple monkey. Uh oh. Entertain me. Don't my time. You will pay an even greater price. I hate this tiresome love. I'm still new to the art of exploring. My patience has its limits. No. Oh, come on. Beneath my feet. Are you kidding me, man? Wow, that is Focus. bad. That is ultimately really, really bad. Okay. So I can heal himself. And we got still broken ribs, so that needs to go. Uh, Cassia is fine. Marazai is sort of okay. Elliot you have offered me another chance is perfect and we're good she well that took me by surprise should have been a little bit more patient there entertain me only death and suffering in the reaving tempest's wake All right, let's disable that. You delegate this menial task to me. Cool. Embrace true power. Should have disabled it right away. As most revered warriors, they should fear us now. So, why do I feel crimson bloodlust closing in around us? Let them come to us. It will save us from Good. Let's heal Marazai. In their dark days. Powers unseen uncover my path. Suffering is an acquired taste, and I'm eager to enlighten those who lack natural discernment. Fantastic. Connect uh, the platforms. And whilst we're at it. Has its limits. Very good. Whilst we're at it, uh, let's disable this trap as well. Marasai is very helpful in in uh, this particular area. Entertain me. You dozens and dozens and dozens of me. traps here. The world trembles beneath my As feet. It be. The world will bow. Brothers, take heed. Don't waste my time. Ah, we got another wound. Fantastic. Fear 
And there is the forest here. All right, Elliot. Contain, contain, my son. Altairi, Farseer, tor uh, tortured body is barely moving. You have seen uh, abject creatures like this before, stitched together from several bodies. Their miserable existence uh, serve but to satisfy their Himoculus master, morbid interest in perversion of the flesh. And yet, this one is not like the others. A twin face stitched uh, together from several uh, male and female Altairi. Uh, and turn its unseeing gaze towards you. Its eyes have been crudely so soon shut. Um, you have come, my son. Hold the line. Don't let the corruption spread further. A commanding shout comes with a cough from inside of the ripped open throat where three hearts are beating inside of a single rib cage, a prison of bone. I finished the statue master. Fleeing satisfying expression passes over the stitched face as a young voice interrupts with a warlike shouting. We are all united in the shadows of the great tree sister until Kayla Menshkain claims our hearts. O Ishta, mother of all life, says Iliad, may your blessing protect the children of Azran. Nothing of your kin is left in this creature, Iliad, and their suffer suffering. That is not so. The accused he uh, Hemoculus has merged not just the Farseer's body, but its soul as well. They are still inside in agony, torn in pieces and memories of their own and others. But I can s uh, sense the shadow of she who thirsts, creeping even closer to devour them and erase them from this world. I cannot let that happen. I go into the darkness. I am very sorry that that Embrace yet again didn't power. work out. This here looks like the torture chamber, so Malzar should have his field day here. What strange feelings, Kel, Mensha, Cain, take my heart. Placed on a grim stone pedestal, a pedestal in front of you is an intricate game board, broadly similar to the regicide players use. Miniatures of the Drukhari and Asurari, skillfully fashioned out of onyx and wrathbone, are frozen in an elegant pose opposed to each other. Several of them are tapped. Uh, and for a moment you think uh, you see fresh blood running from under the game pieces. Elid, are you all right? I early it stares at the boar. It seems she never heard your question. Quiet, please stop. Stop torturing my mind. I will not let you become another spirit of the wind. Not for the light of a million stars. Just let me explain myself. I left uh, Krudiak because that was my path. Is it uh, not what you have been teaching us from the birth? I can hear you very well. Your mournful lament, brothers and sisters, tortured to death in this room. I would prefer not to hear it, but I cannot. It's clearly I can uh, hear the melody of your soul's torment. But don't dare. There is no need to blame me for what has happened to you. One of the farseers has uh, tapped the board. How do you know? A monkey is incapable of hearing the call of the immortal soul. You're absolutely right, at uh, Elatach. In their torture, the Dark Ones go far beyond the limits of the possible for the imprisonment within these game pieces, with these board designs for games of the intrigue of mind, the soul of the Farseer. Why would the Drukhari imprison a Farseer in a board game? Why does the wind blow and why does the rain fall? That's a good question. We can take the Farseer to the ship and save at least what's left of her. It is uh, hard to say how much more suffering her soul has yet to endure before we can leave the city. She may even be devoured by Slanesh on the way as it forms 
like this make our swords very brittle and defenseless. But if you think there is a chance she can be saved, I will not stay in the way. Okay, well, we can always give it a try. My success was inevitable. Whenever the wearer is attacked by an enemy behind cover with a ranged attack. Oh, that's good. War boots are nice. Couple of good additional items. And we got bloodthirsty experimentalists. Well, prepare your characters for battle. So battle it is. Frontline goes in. All four moves as well. Uh, and we got Cassia here. We got Saiken and our sniper Elliot. And we're starting the battle. Saiken uh, starts with... Uh, giving Heinrichs an extra turn. Everybody words of the Emperor. Let's see to it. He himself uh, uses more dodge. Me? Fabulous. Over here, uh, I would like to have uh, the rear. The rear here. Emperor, give me strength. I'm not accustomed to being then. Everybody here gets I more cover for free. That's starter. fine. And these guys do have 230 hit points and they are the mooks, right? So maybe my little uh, difficulty upping has worked well. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. Alright, get all of them together. There we go. If I may. Bringing them closer to there. Isn't this a job for the serfs? not to cross my gaze wonderful hit with a little stare love it um, one I am two not your Zenos, Pat, monkey. we're putting a trap right there I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Me. Cassia buffs herself. Insist, Lord Captain. Isn't this a job for the we serves? all walk our own path. <laughs> there the we go. Good. Now. If I must. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Hmm. If we're hitting... 
That would be really nice. But I think we're just going to go with uh, this one here. This tedium is beneath me. I'll return this favor tenfold. If it serves your cause. All right, decent damage. Not exceptionally good, but decent. Uh, mm, opening this guy up if and shoot again over here. Heal my wounds. Deliver us. I answer the call. Nobody escapes or becomes. Pray for your actions. I do not fear a perilous path. I'm a mendon. Okay. So take I that. Triumph. Purpose take that. Guides me. Ulfar, give yourself that and then Whispers go to town. Guide my and Ulfar shall go to town. As he is moving to here. I challenge you, Dungeons. Let's go. That was unfortunate. Come again. Hundred two, that is a great hit. My strike is Continuing to move up. Free kill. And we got ourselves a nice extra kill. Uh, do we have new? No. Unfortunately, no more shots, but that was really, really good. All right, we're doing that what and that, and that? this should dish out quite a bit of damage, actually. I will try to annoy the mortal ancestors. Oh yeah, yeah, we're back to high heroic. Uh, that's that was an extra shot. Um, how about we're laying another trap right I here your intent. and we're continuing to aim for this guy over there um We can give Ulfar another turn, and that's what we should do, really. Uh, let me see, is Ulfar still buffed with the hammer? Yes. So, well, that's just simply giving him an extra turn. All right, let's go. Feel the icy bite of death. So it shall be. The fame hungry come. I don't like that. Fantastic hit. Mm. 
Why is he taking no damage? What is this? Reduces the target's weapon skill for two rounds. Okay, now that's not it. Our foes reek of cowards. See how the wolf succeeds. Cubs play. Through chaos, I stride. Are these guys? Uh, they are not taking damage, apparently. I wonder. Do they have some sort of invulnerability? This creature can make three attacks per round and damage dealt to it is reduced by minus 100%. Okay. Good. Well, as long as that is going, nothing here is going to work. I will triumph. Okay, everybody here, it's a little bit of that. Heinrichs I'll put my psychic abilities to use. moves in, taunts all three of them, uh, buffs his friend, buffs himself. And continues to buff himself. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. Well, look, since they take zero damage, I don't know what exactly the game wants me to do. But uh, we can still stack a few. Um, very good. We can still stack a few uh, versatility stacks. for my sharp senses. All right, he takes uh, that extra turn, uh, that extra shot per turn. See how the wolf succeeds. And now it is finally Marisai's uh, turn. Uh, long overdue. Uh, so, aim for the opening. We got an opening over here. A little bit of endure. Uh, deal strength bonus rending damage. And he starts bleeding, but he gains resolve. That is great. And zero costs to it. Elusive Shadow. And we got Killing Edge, which is very good. Dodge for the target. If the attack hits, it deals extra damage. If the attack hits an opening, it de deals massive amounts of extra damage. So, that's going to be our standard uh, attack. Distract me. 
Unfortunately, not even that can really better the situation. We're just going to give us uh, some endure and we're letting them attack. As you can see, fundamentally they are invulnerable for now. There you go. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I have read tomes of military tactics. Let's see if Marazai could uh, hit any of uh, these guys. They are still bloodthirsty. All right, opening here. Nope, still nothing. Reducing the hit points, that's all we can do at this point. And a little bit of buffing. I'll return this favor tenfold. As you can see, non no one of them is going to take damage, which is really disappointing. If it serves your cause. Nope. I am not your Still nope. Tenfold. And we're just going to wait. All right, Heinrichs uh, took a lot of uh, a lot of damage, uh, or mitigated a lot of damage. But look at that! Finally, we can we can manage to to dish out some damage. One step closer, I will triumph. Six hundred! Wow, nice. All right, the rogue trader has you, Lord Captain. finally gotten the better of uh, the enemy. Uh, besides, I think what I would want to do is uh, heal Marazai's limb black. Couple of journal for observations. I tread a path unexplored. No, no better at searching. Speak now. There is prey to store. Okay, we're still trying to flee no here. Possibly accomplish this. What? Impossible. And of course, we're getting yet another wound. I hate this Poor Marasai. Takes one for the team every single time. Good, this one here is a webway tool. Uncover my path. That's a nice little battle suit. Uh, the war against peril reduction uh, to the melee area attacks. Okay, cool. Let's see. Just double checking. Is that armor any better than ours? Armor restores uh, wounds each round when the wearer has any number of burning, toxin, or bleeding. That's actually not too bad because uh, he will automatically bleed. And it is a uh, healing over time, but then again, the other armor that he has is preventing ranged attacks. My is my Watch your steps. Oh boy, am I happy that we did my not need to fight uh, in melee? 
one could possibly accomplish this. Going through dozens and dozens of traps. Brothers. The world trembles beneath my feet. Perish for this affront. Good. Do we have anything else left here? Yeah, we do have a full um, a full complex that we haven't explored yet. Let's get there quick. Alright, we saved one. Farseer, my purpose is to comply, yes. I'm born so I may day die. Kel Morak, what did that madman do to him? Do you remember where you came from? I remember the taste of pain and the smell of pain and the color of pain too. You are the one uh, who dreams of what uh, has come to pass and what yet lies in the haze ahead of Farseer from the craft world. coming with us, Elanar. I will not let you abandon My here. Without waiting for Iliad to finish her sentence, the Farseer suddenly turns his head towards her. For the first time his gaze is clear and focused. Child, you have returned to us in the darkest hour. No! He was aware he remembered me, Elatar, uh, And then suddenly he was dead. What kind of curse haunts the Krudakrak's children? within these walls. Let us go. I refuse to believe that there is no one else left. I tread a path unexplored. Failure stings. All right. All right. We already got through the battle, so the rest should be easy peasy. Keep a sharp eye. Mars eye strides among the mysterious Zeno's device and presses his palm to one of the strange pieces resembling a pedestrian with a hiss. One of the sides suddenly opens as an airlock. The Drukari begins to examine the contents of the container, the thoughts and changes of the object being moved about ring um, harshly in the otherwise silent space. Meanwhile, your eyes are involuntarily drawn to the particular device that fills the room. After the anatomical opera, you have not the slightest doubt about the purpose of the device around you. You think you've seen some of them before uh, in the ha uh, Hematologius laboratory. Uh, others are even more obscure in their design but the gleaming needles, cutting blades and tubes and flasks are filled with revolting liquids give a clear indication of the horrors that can re that they can be wrecked upon a living body. I do not need to be a seer to feel the pain permeating from the place within my very being. You feel the pain, cousin? Your re-education has clearly already borne fru uh, fruit. What is this place? This is the chamber of satiation, a place of reflection and pleasure. This is where um, wrecks do their tinkering, working on new captives in anticipation of hungry cabalite who will appreciate their artistry. Um, if Tervertia's servants were here, I could show you more, for instance, how to skin a monkey without killing it. But alas, that's for another time. Your interest pleases me here. Take this. Consider it as a reward for your diligence. We get two grenades. The chambers in the heart of the spire, not far from here, are uh, the webway gate. Perhaps there we will find what my soul desperately craves for. Let us hurry. Powers unseen uncover my power. All right, so sharpshooter rifle. 
Uh, dead shot fired by this rifle deal an additional five damage to larger enemies. And that is a great rifle. I like what I'm seeing. That's the kind of rifle that Saiken would appreciate because it deals more damage and also has the nice little additional hit chance that he needs in order to use rifles. Speak now. Ruinous favor prevails. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, well, I got a lot of goods. And as Fate always, I me. need to heal. Survive and serve. Better than nothing. You owe me. It took you long enough. Watch your steps. Embrace true power. Don't waste my time. None could possibly accomplish this. Good, and here we're going to the main hall. Back here seems to be something else, but we're going to find that out the next time. I think for now uh, we are in a good situation, guys. I think uh, this is where I need to draw the line for yet another episode. Uh, we have discovered all there is in these crude laboratories, and this uh, craft world is just immense. Uh, it is a huge, huge, huge level. A trivial task. Far more uh, than I, what I would have uh, thought beforehand. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Next time we're continuing here. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye-bye.